What is up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we have the two Canadian races, the Grand Prix of Quebec and the Grand Prix of Montreal. Two hilly classics of course um, and this may be one of the latest videos you have seen. Obviously these races taking place last week. Um, I've been super busy, it was my birthday this week. I've had a lot going on with, uh, with starting a new job as well uh, but I was going to play them so I thought I may as well record it for you guys. So starting in Quebec, uh, we do have a uphill finish, which will suit the sprinters, of course. Michael Matthews won this one in real life. I think he beat Sagan, uh, maybe Ulysses as well, I think, were the top three. Uh, so let's take a look at the teams. So we have Quickstep here with Alaphilippe, Askreen and Evenepoel. Bahrain have Nibali, Colbrelli and Mahoric. Ineos bring a few guys like Thomas and Quieto. Bora brings Sagan, who's one of the big favourites for the race. Uh, Trek bring Mollema and Stuyven. Education First have Betiol. Mike Woods here in, uh, in Canada, of course. He's probably the best Canadian rider. We have CCC with Van Avermaet. Uh, Ulysses and Dan Martin for UAE. Mitchell and Scott have Adam Yates and Daryl Impey. Sunweb have brought Matthews and Hershey. Ajitual Mondial have Narsen and Kosnafra. Yumbo Visma have Van Poppel, De Plus, Tolhook. Uh, Dimension Data have Kreuziger. Valgren as well. We see Astana here. Groupama, FDJ, Mallard and Madwa. Lotto Sudal have Tim Vellens as their leader. Movistar have Sutilin and Betancourt. Katusha have Halla. Uh, then we have Israel, Rally and the Canadian Pro Team. So guys, for Quebec, I am going to go for Ajitoala Mondial. We have Narsen, Kosnafa and Peters. All pretty good punchers. Narsen, of course, a very strong rider. We have Goujard, Frank, uh, Perry Pentra and Duval as well. Let's get into the race and see what we can do here. So the race does get underway, guys. I'm not going to go in the break. Uh, we're going to concentrate on protecting Kosnafa and Narsen, who's feeling very good. Um, and yeah, I'll see you later in the race. So we're still just sat in the pack. We do have a three man breakaway, three and a half minutes up the road. We have Agnoli, Monfort and Duchesne up the road here. So as our guys are feeling good, I've put a few riders on the front relaying. Uh, Perry Pentra and Duval will do some work on the front. Let's make sure everyone else has moved up right towards the front here. As you can see, there has been a split, 70 riders caught behind. Um, we have Vanander, De Plus, Mollard, Rusen, Scoynes, uh, some strong riders caught behind at the moment. So into the final 60k of the race, Askreen on the front for quick step. Still two minutes up to this breakaway, still three men up the road. Everyone from our team is still in the peloton of 103 riders and our main three guys seem to be feeling really, really good today. So up the climb we go yet again, under 40k to go now. Perry Pentra has now been dropped. Uh, Gujard, Nyson and Kosnafra all sitting right towards the front though. Um, as you can see, just 62 riders in this peloton. Guys are dropping away all the time now. You can see some guys really struggling with this pace. So just 30k to go now. Gujard is coming towards the front. I may try a long out attack with him. You can see the pace is very high over these climbs. Uh, so we just sit towards the front with him right here. Nyson and Kosnafra need to go up to 90. Uh, maintain right towards the front. Uh, Gujard coming up. If this pace drops, I am going to try and attack up to that breakaway with him. But as you can see, quick step, absolutely killing it on the front. Same with Mitchelton Scott. Um, I can't even attack past these guys at the moment. So into the final 15k of the race, 46 riders left in the group uh, as Matthias Frank is now done for the day. Cosnafra and Narsen need to even go quicker than 90. Oh my word, look at the pace. We need to stay in contact here as um, it is quick step still on the front setting a really, really high pace. So guys, we've just come into the final 9k of the stage. You can see Goujard making his way up to the front. Uh, 36 riders in the peloton. We're going to try something here. So here we go, 7k to go, Goujard is bringing our guys right up towards the front. Impey's on the front at the moment, which is surprising. I guess he's working for Yates. Um, I thought he'd be given a chance at leadership in this race, but 5k to go now. Goujard can go up to 90. I'm going to use both energy gels on Kosnafra and Narsen. We're going to try something. Here we go, we can up this to 95 with Goujard up to 99 now because Kosnafra is going to go on the attack right here. Here we go. 
Cosmo Farah on the attack. Can Narsen stay with these guys? He needs to try. Um, we need to follow these guys. If, and if Cosmo Farah can't get away, he's trying everything he can on this climb, but he's not got away. Let's put Narsen in his wheel if we can. Let's wait for Narsen. One and a half K to go. Can Narsen get in his wheel? It's pretty close. Let's go up to 99 now. Sprint with Cosmo Farah. Narsen's going to sprint pretty early if we go now. Let's go. Narsen sprinting for the line. Coming past Askreen. Betty Ol's coming. So's Alaphilippe. Can we hold on? No, we can't. Alaphilippe takes it. Narsen second. Betty Ol in third. We have Yates fourth. Impy fifth. Woods. Velens. A good effort by us, uh, but not to be today. So Julian Alaphilippe beats Narsen and Betty Ol on the line. Another great win for the Frenchman. Let's get into Montreal. So guys, for me, Montreal is definitely suited slightly more to a sprinter or the finishes at least because you can see it's not on uphill finish uh, despite all the hills throughout the race. Uh, let's take a look at our team. So again, guys, I'm going to go for a bit of an underdog here. We've gone for Israel Cycling Academy. Obviously, they're not a World Tour team, but we do have Spiragli and Neoland, who are both pretty good punchers. Spiragli, a good sprinter as well. Earl's a good barrader. He's got some punch as well. We also have Jensen. Uh, this fella is at Boivin. Catterford and Guy Sagiv. Um, so obviously we're not the strongest team. We're actually the third weakest team judged by PCM. Uh, but maybe we can do something with Spiragli and Neolans. So let's take a look. Let's see what we can do. So guys, the race does get underway. I am going to try and join the breakaway today with Boivin. Obviously in his homeland of Canada. Let's move to the right here. Let's try and attack off the front. Get some kilometers in the legs in the breakaway. So as you can see, we have successfully joined the breakaway. In the break, we have Lawrence Narsen, James Pickley, Boyvin, Beermans, Monfort, Hugo Hull, and Adam DeVos. So sadly, with 90k still to go, Boyvin is about to be caught by the peloton. Uh, the breakaway weren't cooperating at all. You can see they're all uh, broken up. Only three riders at the front of the race now. Uh, Boyvin can just protect someone in the peloton. So guys, with under 75k to go now, you can see we've had a few more attacks off the front. Gregor Boll, we've got Gibbons, Mallard, Van Rensburg uh, trying to join up with this breakaway. Um, I think we had Van Poppel, but he seems to have been caught again by the Peloton. I thought about attacking, but to be honest, we just need to do everything to try and stay, uh, to stay in this group for the moment. So there's been a fall further behind. You can see Villela has had to withdraw. Valgren and Conrad have fallen behind. You can see all the groups have split up. We've got Tommy Alta Slachter, who's dropped much further back. 108 riders in this peloton, but a lot of these uh, a lot of these riders are basically dead now. Okay, guys, we now have under 40k to go. We still have five riders in this group. Neerland, Spiragli and Jensen, all looking pretty good, actually. Um, there haven't been any attacks since the breakaway have been caught. I've thought about trying an attack with someone like Earl, um, but to be honest, we're in a decent position. Let's just try and stay here as long as possible. So guys, one more ascent done and we only have two to go. We've still got four riders in this group. Catsford here, he's done for the day though, it seems. And still 80 riders in this front group. Expecting some big attacks coming pretty soon. Uh, let's move all our guys right towards the front of this group. Try and stay here at all costs. Under 25k to go. So you can see how quick the pace is up these hills. Let's try and protect Spragley with Janssen. Neerlands and Spragley doing everything to stay in this group. Earl is, I think, done now. And just 38 riders in this group. That was a really, really tough ascent. Um, you can see some strong riders have been dropped. Sutterlin, we have Cosnafra here, Court Nielsen, Lucas Hamilton, some really, really good riders. Can't live with this pace. Spragley, Neerlands and Janssen all still here though. So guys, here we have it, the final lap of the race. I'm going to put Neerlands on Spragley's wheel, actually. Let's put him up to 90, try and do everything to stay in this group. Uh, as you see, Betio setting a really fast pace. We have uh, Mark Hershey on the front. I don't think he's attacking. Doesn't seem so. And we can stay here for now. Let's use all these energy gels. Uh, let's actually up this even more with Spragley up to 95. I think we've got a few attacks now. Let's go up to 95. Just do everything to stay here. Janssen is basically done. I think Neerlands is as well. Let's try and protect Spragley with Neerlands. And we've done it. We've stayed in the front group for now. As Molimer seems to be going off the front. Let's try and stay with him with Spragley. Ragley Jensen uh, seems to be done, but we have 30 riders in the front group after that final ascent. 
So 7k to go. Let's keep, uh, let's keep Spragley here if we can. This is the final little jump. Maybe we can even put an attack here. Let's try it. Spragley on the attack for Israel Cycling Academy. We're on the attack in Montreal. Peter Sagan trying to follow us. Let's set a pace on 85. Sagan is with us. A few guys are coming behind. Let's set these guys to automatic. And Spragley, oh my word, we're off the front with Peter Sagan. I'm sitting on his wheel. I'm going to play games with him. He's doing all the work. If he wants to win this, we have 20 seconds with Peter Sagan. Uh, we have 3k to go now. This is unbelievable. Um, I will work with him on 85. Um, actually, 2.5k to go. Let's just sit on his wheel. But do I want to pass up this opportunity? Not really. Let's sit on his wheel. 13 seconds. 1.5k to go. Let's up the pace into the final kilometer. Let's try and get the jump on him. Spiragli versus Peter Sagan. Who's going to take it? It's pretty close. Spiragli versus Sagan. And Sagan just takes it. Oh my word, what a race. Bragley second to Sagan. Askreen third. Dan Martin's here as well. Oh my word, what a finish that was. So we can see a replay of the finish right here. Sagan literally side by side with Spiragli. He was right with him until the final 50 metres or so, where Sagan edged about half a bike length ahead. What a finish. So Peter Sagan does win uh, the Montreal Grand Prix ahead of Spiragli, Askreen on the podium. I absolutely love that race, guys. Spiragli gave everything to try and beat Sagan. We did try that attack. Uh, Sagan, the only one to follow us, Askreen, Martin, Alaphilippe, they didn't react in time. Um, and then we just sat on Peter Sagan's wheel, knowing he's the stronger sprinter, the stronger rider in general, obviously. Um, and we tried to beat him on the line. Not quite to be. What an effort, though, by Spiragli. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I've got more Trek career coming very, very soon. Uh, but for now, if you enjoyed this, drop a like and a comment down below for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one.